The San Onofre nuclear power plant has been offline since the end of January because cracks were discovered in tubes inside the new steam generator. Now there's a growing movement to keep it shut down permanently. Last night, Solana Beach City Council members were urged to tell federal regulators to oppose relicensing of the plant. Earlier this week, the city of Irvine in Orange County did just that. Here with me today is Arnie Gunderson, former nuclear executive and author of a report for the Friends of the Earth environmental group. Arnie, thanks for joining us today. Hi, thank, thanks for having me. So my first question is, what did you tell the Solana uh, Beach city council members? Well, I inside these steam generators that have developed a crack, there's 19,000 pipes, about the size of my finger, and they're vibrating. So they're colliding with each other and the leak that was created um, was small and Southern California Edison shut down quickly. What I told them though is that if it went more than uh, about a, a, a day that leak would have cut the pipe entirely and instead of a very small issue it would have become a very large issue likely um, shutting down I-5. Okay, now you, you're talking about this and, and the Irvine City Council also had a recommendation that they put in, but this is, we're years out from relicensing. Why do it now? Well, it takes, and it, I'm assuming that California is going to be a contentious hearing. Um, in some states where there's no interest in the nuclear power plant, a licensing can get extended in two or three years. Um, but in contentious hearings, like in Massachusetts, that process has taken eight to ten years. So Southern California Edison's got to expect a contentious hearing, and it's most likely um, going to have to notify the NRC in 2013 because it's about a ten-year process. So we've got a ten-year process notification, so we're kind of backtracking to 2013, and, and we have these problems. Southern California Edison, they operate the plant, and a representative made a media statement after the Irvine City Council meeting, and here's what they said. They said, relicensing is not their concern right now. Specifically, they said, we are really now focused on the safe operation of that plant and summer reliability. Those are the two things that are paramount right now. How would you respond to that? Are they taking enough responsibility in this? Well, as long as the plants are, sh are shut down, obviously that's the right thing to do. They don't know what caused the problem, and, and staying shut down until they do is the right thing to do. Um, the, as far as not um, the being prepared for the license extension, there's, there's publications that say that they, um, uh, they, in fact, had anticipated this generator would run 40 or 50 years. So they were clearly expecting to extend the license, and I think they will. A lot of people, I shouldn't say a lot, some people are calling for the permanent shutdown at San Onofre. Is that sort of an alarmist reaction to these tubes, or is that something you're in support of? Well, Fukushima has taught us two things, and, and uh, the, the tsunami issue and, uh, and, and earthquake issue, both of which they have here. That's thing number one. And, and the next thing is the emergency planning. Um, my biggest professional concern is emergency planning. There's two sites that are the worst in the country. One is Indian Point, which is right outside of New York, and the other one is San Onofre, which, of course, is within 50 miles or, or 8 million people. What, why do you say they're the worst sites, especially the San Onofre one? Well, the, the population density in, in the, the area within 50 miles of, of San Onofre is about eight times higher than the population density around Fukushima. And we know how hard it was to evacuate Fukushima. So in the event of an accident at San Onofre, getting eight million people out is, um, is an unheard of task if and there, an unplanned for task. Right, if there was a problem that needed evacuation. We've only got a, a little bit of time left, so what would you like to see happen uh, with San Onofre at this point? Well, it's got to stay down until they, they figure out what's caused the, the breaks. Um, Mitsubishi, the people that made it, have said that they're not going to be prepared to understand it until September. So I think the, the, the state of California needs to be prepared for a winter, a, a summer, without San Onofre. Alrighty. Arnie Gunderson, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.